Hi, this is Brad Linder with Lilliputing, and I'm here again with the Nortec uh, Gecko EduBook, which is a uh, lightweight, small, and modular uh, netbook that sells for about $199. And uh, the version that I'm running here is, uh, that I'm using, is running Watt OS, which is a lightweight Linux distribution. And as you can see, it takes a little while to load up. Um, one of the things that makes the EduBook different from a lot of other notebooks is that it has uh, an x86 compatible processor, which means it can run Linux, it can run Windows, but it's um, a 1 gigahertz processor, which is uh, pretty slow compared to the processors that you'll find in a lot of other netbooks that are available today. The um, netbook is capable of running a lot of different applications, but it's not exactly a speed demon, and that's one of the ways that it helps keep costs low. The uh, operating system is also running off of an SD card that is uh, internal to the computer, and that again helps keep costs low and makes it very easy to upgrade the storage, but it's not exactly the fastest storage medium. So I just wanted to show you some of the things that you can do using the operating system, but also um, that this might be good for educational purposes, it might be good if you're looking for something to explore Linux hacking with, um, or if you're just looking for something for lightweight web browsing and email applications. But if you are looking for something a little more powerful, the EduBook might not be the best way to go. Um, there are advantages though, especially in developing nations, this laptop um, runs on AA batteries, rechargeable AA batteries, which are much easier to get than a typical laptop battery. You can see even logging in takes a little while here. Um, I'm going to be testing this out with another operating system or two later. I'll, I'll probably try it with Windows, um, but I just wanted to take a look at WattOS, which is the operating system that it ships with today. So let's take a closer look here. So you've got programming, audio, video, graphics, performance, etc. Under programming, there's a uh, metal difference here. Audio, video, there's actually a number of applications here, including uh, VLC, an open place uh, media player, M player, SM player, which is sort of a front end for M player, and uh, movie player, also Audacious, and audio CD extractor. Um, under graphics, you've got GIMP, an image viewer, and openoffice.org drawing. Um, in System Tools, you do have Synaptic Package Manager, so you can actually go ahead and install a lot of different applications that are available for uh, Ubuntu Linux. Uh, PC Man File Manager, which is a lightweight file manager. Under Networking, there's uh, Pigeon for instant messaging, um, uh, Firefox Web Browser, Skype for um, chat and uh, voice over IP. Under Office, because there's only an 8 gigabyte SD card in here, they didn't load the entire OpenOffice.org suite. They loaded Numeric for um, spreadsheets, OpenOffice.org's presentation application for uh, PowerPoint documents and other uh, documents like that, and Abbey Word as a word processor. And under Accessories, you've got the calculator, a notepad, a terminal, and a couple of other applications. Um, I'm going to load the calculator just because I want to show you how long it takes to load. This is probably one of the lightest weight applications on here, but it still takes a few seconds. Um, so if we want to try to load something a little bit more intensive, like say a web browser, you're you're in for sort of a wait. So um, let's. Go ahead and hit that, and um, while we're waiting, I'll show you, I'm plugged into uh, Ethernet connection right now, and that's because uh, while this did ship with instructions for uh, getting online using Wi-Fi, and it does include Wi-Fi components, um, there were sort of command line tools, uh, you have to actually create um, or uh, compile the, the code for, uh, for getting online, and uh, honestly it was a little bit beyond me. I've used Linux to some degree, but I'm not exactly an expert, and um, this wasn't exactly the most user-friendly thing that I've tried. Okay, this is actually a beta version of Firefox, so you sort of have to click through that uh, plug-in check it first. Um, it's been over 30 seconds. It's actually about 45 seconds since I hit the uh, web browser button. And now we're approaching a minute and it still hasn't loaded. So you can see, again, it's not exactly a st speed demon. Okay, so that's about a minute here. Um, and it's loading the last web pages that I had open, um, which I was uh, testing flash video performance. Yeah, as you'll probably see here, it takes a little while to load the web page. And while it will play flash video, it's uh, relatively sluggish here. 
But again, this isn't exactly what it's meant for. It's meant more for you know the ability to get people online in developing nations, uh, educational settings, places like that. Um, if you're looking for a video player, the edgy book might not be the way to go. Okay, we can sit here and wait for that, or we can do some other things. So I'll show you, you know, if you if you go to um, more lightweight websites, it's not being very responsive right now, but. Uh, So the Google web page loads pretty quickly. Um, let's do a quick search on Google. So there you go. Uh, let's take a look at, say, the New York Times website. Clearly, there's a lot more information on the New York Times website. There's uh, a lot more to load, and it takes a little bit longer, but overall, it's not too bad. But if you were to try something like, um, say, well, let's not go to my Gmail account. Um, let's try to load Google Docs here. As you can see, it's loading, but it's sort of taking a long time to load anything. I find that opening multiple tabs, for example, is not something that really uh, goes smoothly here. Um, let's go ahead and close this for now. So I just inserted a USB flash drive with some videos on it, and I just wanted to give you a quick look at how video uh, playback works. Again, this isn't really a multimedia machine, but it can handle some videos. So let's just open the VLC media player and toss a video in. Okay, so that's actually freezing. The audio is playing just fine, but the video is a little bit stunted. Um, let's see what happens if we try opening the same video with uh, Movie Player. It's taking a moment to load. And then it doesn't seem to know how to decode the video. This uh, this video is actually in the XVID format. Here's a video that I actually shot myself with a digital camera. Let's see how it handles that. A 
again seems to be having some problems figuring out how to display the video using Movie Player. Let's try it with SM Player, which is a front end for the M Player Movie Player. Seems to be playing back, but it's a little bit jumpy. So again, the uh, Nortec EduBook, Gecko EduBook, is um, capable of playing video, but you're probably going to want to stick with low resolution videos. Um, you're not going to use this as a HD video player or anything. These these are actually uh, all standard definition videos that I just tried. Uh, I'm not even going to try a 720. Uh, well, let's go ahead. And I'll sh I'll show you what happens when you try a 720p uh, video file. But the um, you know, takeaway is that if you need a computer for lightweight browsing, for writing documents, for um, online, offline access, you know, the, the EduBook for $199 is going to get the job done. And its appeal really isn't so much in its capabilities to do all of those things. Its appeal is more in its modular nature, the fact that the CPU is on a card that you can just pop out and replace when a new CPU is available, the fact that the batteries can be replaced with rechargeable um, AA batteries. So, you know, the, this netbook does have a lot going for it. Um, power is not necessarily one of them, or, you know, high performance uh, capabilities. Um, but I will also be checking this out, running Windows XP and, and maybe another operating system to see how it performs under those conditions. Um, so stay tuned for more information. This is Brad Linder from Lilliputing, and uh, this is a 720p video playback slideshow slide style on the uh, movie player on Watt OS on the Nortec Gecko EduBook.